Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Oppo Find X, or as I call it, the James Bond phone. Now this is not available in the US, so if you want it, you gotta pick it up on Amazon or eBay. I'll throw the links up in the description. I got this one on Amazon, the price, 1,080 bucks. Now on a side note, 1,080 bucks for a phone that's not waterproof, doesn't have wireless charging, no headphone jack, no fingerprint sensor, and no expandable memory, the price is too goddamn high. But if you want the James Bond phone, you gotta pay to play, so let's play. Now y'all know I hate talking about specs, but since this is an unboxing video, let's go through the main specs that you need to know. Now for the display, you got a 6.4 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340. Now that's 401 for the PPI Patrol. Now one of the best things about this phone, you got a 93% screen to body ratio. So no bezels on deck. Now it does have Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Now for the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 with the Adreno 630 GPU. Top of the line specs. Now it's running Android 8.1 Optimus Prime fresh out of the box. You get eight gigs of RAM with 256 gigs worth of storage. Now for the camera, on the rear, you got a dual setup, so that's 120 megapixel and 116 megapixel. On the front, you got a 25 megapixel shooter. Now for the battery, you got a non-removable 3,730 milliamp battery that features flash charge. Now if this works as advertised, they claim you could charge your phone from zero to 100% in 35 minutes. That would make this the ultimate shit shower and shave phone. Now it comes in two colors. You got Bordeaux red or Glacier blue. All right, so let's pop this open and see what it is. Shout out to White Shoes back in the building. Got the Tiger Tooth. Here we go. Ra. Oppo Find X. Blue box. Now this is the Chinese version, so let's see what it is. All right, White Shoes, here we go. We got a new joint. Okay, on the front, little seal. Let's open this up. Okay, this is actually, let's see. All right, you got a little case. Hard shell case, smoked out color, I like that. Let's see what this is. All right, you got your usual books and shit. Pluck them, file them to the side. Now this is a nice touch right here. Microfiber cleaning cloth. Y'all know I got OCD, we're gonna need that. This is your headphone jack adapter. Let's make sure, let's make sure it's USB Type-C. All right, USB Type-C. And let's see, that's pretty much it. Here's your SIM ejection tool. And here's your device. Now I went with the Bordeaux red. Whew. Let me wipe this down for dramatic effect. Whew. Now this might be one of the most beautiful phones of the year. Check this out. If you look in the middle, it's black. It looks kind of dark. You got your Bordeaux red or purple, purplish hues on the side. This is sick. Let's see on the bottom. There's your SIM tray, USB type C. You got a speaker and a mic. Now you do have another speaker embedded into the front. You can see it a little bit. This is gonna be your power button. Volume, no, this is a power button right here. Volume up and down, now check this out. Okay, I'm looking close. Now I've never seen this phone. This is volume up and down. Let's power this up and see if we got any juice. Then we're gonna check out that James Bond camera. Let's see anything else in here. Ooh, now check this out. All right, I like this. Free headphones, very Apple-esque. USB Type-C. Okay. Here's your USB, uh, USB Type-C charging cable and your fast charging brick. Real nice, all right? I'm definitely feeling that presentation. All right, let me pause the video. I'll drop my information in and then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes, and I gotta be 100% honest with y'all. On a scale of one to 10, this phone is a major go. Now, I couldn't give it to three majors because it's missing a lot of stuff, and just in case you forgot, let's recap. Number one, no headphone jack. Now, that's whack, but I can live with that. Hashtag bars. Next, it's not water resistant. Now that's not a big deal, but on a 2018 flagship phone, it should have some IP rating. Next, no fingerprint sensor. 
Now, I'm kind of glad that they didn't put the fingerprint sensor on the back and mess up that beautiful design, but they could have put it on the front, like the Mate RS, right underneath the glass. Next, no expandable memory. Now, I know everybody's going to say, well, it has 256 gigs worth of storage. You don't need it, but you know my motto. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Next, no notification LED, not a big deal. Now let's get to some big deals. Next, no dual speakers. Now at the beginning, I said it was dual speakers. That was an error. That's actually an earpiece at the top. There's only one speaker, it's mad loud. But on a 2018 flagship phone, you need dual speakers. And lastly, my biggest gripe on a glass back phone, no wireless charge. Now that's just silly. Now with all of that being said, you probably think I don't like this phone, but I gotta keep it real with y'all. This might be my new favorite phone for three reasons. Number one, it's brand new. Now y'all know I like new shit. This phone still has that new phone sent to it. Give me about a week, I'll be back to my normal petty self. But right now, I'm feeling the new phone. Number two, this phone is super fast. No lag. Now I was downloading all my apps, doing all my tricks to try to get it to lag. No hiccups, no lag, no stutter. And the facial unlock is ridiculous. But the last reason, and the best thing about this phone, the James Bond camera. You're gonna love this, all right? Now check this out, let's break this down. Shout out to White Shoes Lampin'. First things first, build quality. Now the phone is a little bit on the thick side, giggity, but I like that. Has a nice weight to it. The glass back is just beautiful. It feels so premium. Now, I don't know what country you're in and uh, what price you're going to pay, but like I said, if you live in the States and you get this for a thousand bucks, this definitely feels like a thousand dollar phone. You seen that camera? Oh, I got to show you that again. Look at the build quality on this. This is so beautiful. I'm almost at a loss for words, but never that. Now, let me show you the facial unlock. Check this out. Here's your lock screen. You're going to swipe up just like your iPhone X. Look how fast that was. Let's do that again. Now, I'm not going to look at it. Let's swipe up. Didn't recognize. Now, I'm going to look at it. Swipe up. On a scale of 1 to 10, that camera mechanism on the top is a major, major, major go. Now, on a side note, I was a little bit worried about that because I thought it was going to be slow and laggy but it's actually super fast. Now, here's the downside to that. Anytime you have a phone or any kind of gadget that has working parts like that, a little mechanism, imagine if you got this open and you're taking a picture and you drop your phone and it lands right on the corner and messes up that motor. Without the motor on this phone, basically it's worthless. Right? It's a worthless phone without that motor. So this is one of those phones. It's not the construction man phone. It's not your beat up trap phone. This phone, you're gonna have to babysit. But look how it works. Yo, that is so sick. Now, on a side note, check out this little experiment I did. I thought opening up the camera was going to be slow and laggy, but watch this. There's the camera. Now, let's take the iPhone. We're going to press the cameras at the same time. Basically, the same speed as your iPhone. Now, I was playing around doing a couple of text, uh, tests, and it actually opened up faster than the iPhone under the right circumstances. This is so dope. All right, so let's breeze through the OS. First things first, let's go to the settings. Now, this is my first Oppo phone. I got to keep it real with y'all. Look how many toggles you got. You ever seen that many toggles? You got everything. You got screen recording. You got your quiet time. You got your power saving mode. All your standard toggles. You got smart driving. You got your scanners. One hand operation. Personal hotspot. A little, a, a dedicated camera toggle. Basically anything that you want. You could drag and drop at your leisure. Now, of course, I got this on max brightness. I will say the display gets super bright. But one thing I want to show you. All right, so let's go through all of the basic stuff. Uh, let's see, do we have to look at anything? Uh, NFC, everything is there. Let's go to other wireless. You got your personal hotspot, Wi-Fi tethering. You even got Bluetooth tethering. <laughs> tethering. 
<laughs> let's go to our notification and status. All right, status bar. Let's uh, let's see. You got battery percentage. You can show your network speed, like I'm doing right now. I'm on T-Mobile with this one. Let's see. Um, basic settings. We'll do all that stuff in the full review. Let's go to our brightness. This is what I wanted to mention. Now, if you like your brightness warm with that yellowish tint, you could do it like that, or you could put it ice cold. And this is like a whitish ice cold blue. I actually the default. If you look at the default, that's about regular. I like it in the middle, a little on the cool side. Now you got your curved panoramic light effect. What is that? Let me show you right now. All right, so I'm gonna dial this phone. I'm gonna do a little test phone call so you can see what it looks like. Now I gotta block out my number for y'all trolls. But let's let it ring. Enjoy that awkward silence in the meantime. All right, here it goes. Check this out. Similar to your Galaxy Note series, that colorful light, that's pretty sick. All right, let me uh, exit out of that. Now check this out. Let's go back to settings. All right, so you got your night shield, video display enhancement, a lot of stuff. You got your home screen layout. Now if you want, you can change that. Now there's no app drawer, so I advise you to put it on five point uh, five by six. You got your uh, icon auto fill, uh, themes, wallpapers, all your basic stuff. Let's go to sound and vibrations. Uh, okay, real sound technology. Let's see what that is. Okay, when you plug your headphones in, you get an EQ. Okay, you got a headphones monitor. We'll leave that off. <laughs> Let's see our uh, quiet time. Face and password, I no need to look at that. You know what that is already. Let's see, smart and convenient. All right, so navigation keys. Now if you want, you can have full display. And you can use kind of like these uh, gestures. Now when I do the full review, I'll go through that in a little bit more detail. But the same kind of gestures that you got on your iPhone X. Now me personally, I like to have on-screen buttons. You can change the layouts. You see like if I want, let's, let, matter of fact, let's show you this. I didn't bother to take the time to learn all this stuff. But by the time I do the full review, I'll know it. So in the meantime, we'll just leave it on our regular navigation keys. Let's see, you got your assistive ball. Now that's similar to the Huawei phones. You turn that on, get that little ball right there. You can adjust it and use that as a back button. This is a big giant display. So if you can't reach the bottom, put the ball toward the bottom and you got your back button, your recently used apps, all that other stuff. So we'll leave that off for now. Let's see, you got our full screen multitasking. That's what uh, landscape mode. Smart touch. All right, let's turn that on. All right, I'll read all, all that stuff later. <laughs> I know. Gestures in motion. Okay, three finger screenshots. That's always nice. Let's see, you got your smart driving and smart assistant. Anything else? All right, so that's pretty much it. Now let's do a little bit of testing. Let's take it over to YouTube and pull up our usual bike life test video. Here we go. Now check this out. This speaker kind of blew me away. Let's get max volume. Now just so you know, you see, only one speaker on the bottom. But listen to how loud this is. Look at the display. Beautiful. Full screen display. No bezels. Matter of fact, let me pull up a video that has some actual light in it so you can get the full screen effect. All right, one of my old Google Glass videos. Check this out. Full screen, no bezels. This is how you want to watch a YouTube video. Beautiful viewing angles. Let's uh, skip a little bit. Look at that. This is sick. All right, let's exit out of that. All right. So far, like I said, <laughs> no lag. Now you can change these animations. You see, you go to effects. You can put it on cube, flipping card effect. Matter of fact, let's rock out the card effect. 
You got your quick panels. No lag so far. Now let's take it over to the camera. Now watch, matter of fact, listen to that sound. Let's exit out. That alone is worth the price for me. Imagine when you pull out this phone, so let me take a quick picture, and that top slides open like that, you're gonna love that. Now let's go through the modes real quick. All right, so you got time lapse, you got slow motion, you got video, up to 4K video, you got photos. Now if you want, you can put this in full screen mode. Yeah, we'll rock out like, look at this, that's sick. You got portrait mode, which I'll show you in a second. You got your stickers, you got panoramic shots, and you got expert mode, which is pro mode. Now let me show you some pictures I took real quick. This camera is actually pretty sick. Now this is a portrait shot. There's white shoes chilling. Look at the portrait version. Now I adjusted the background blur to extra blur, but that looks sick. Again, a regular shot. Look at the detail. Look how beautiful this is. Now portrait mode in the same one. Look at the background all blurred out. So pay attention. You see, you can almost read the Amazon boxes. Now it's blurred out. And this was just a regular point and shoot. Look at that. We're gonna do some test video. We're gonna test the uh, 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 image stabilization. We'll do all of your, the normal testing. But so far, fresh out of the gate, I am feeling this camera. <laughs> that mechanism. The best part about this is opening up your phone. Now you can double tap to awake the screen. That's right on par with the iPhone X. Now I was testing it out just as fast. Now I know one of my petty gripes was no fingerprint sensor, but if this is working, now I gotta test it out in complete darkness. I gotta test it out with sunglasses on and different hats, my fake beard and all that. But if this works like this all of the time, this is so dope. Now let's get, get a close up on that screen. You see that? Look at that. Let's do it from the back. All right, here we go. Let's uh, open up the camera. <laughs> let's swipe up. I'll do this with one hand. Look at that. Oh, this is so dope. All right, let me calm down. Let me calm down. Like I said, I kind of wanted this phone to be whack so I could bash it a little bit so I could kind of justify why I never buy Oppo phones. Yo, but I'm jumping on the hype bandwagon for this one. This is sick. All right, so a few more things we got to check out. Let's take it over to the internet. Let's go to uh, apple.com. All right, here we go. Let's check the internet speed. Now look at that. Full web page. No lag, no hiccups. Now this does have private safe, which uses your facial unlock, photos, audio, documents, and other. That's your thought protection. This phone is so sick. All right, let's do a quick episode of America's Top Model because I think this might be one of my top five most beautiful phones. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so here we go. Now, y'all tell me which one y'all think is the most beautiful, and I'll tell y'all which one I think is the most beautiful. First up, let's start with the Mate RS. Mate RS versus Oppo Find X. Which y'all think? I'm going with the Oppo. Next. Whew. Huawei P20 Pro versus the Oppo. What y'all think? I still like the P20 Pro. Next. Galaxy S9 Plus Thanos version versus the Oppo. I'm giving this one to the Oppo. Next. One plus six. Cherry red, that real red. Whew. I don't know. I like the two-tone shimmeriness of the Oppo. But color-wise, I'd probably go with OnePlus. Next, speaking of red, iPhone 8 Plus, Oppo. 
again, I'm a red kind of lover, so I'm going with the iPhone. Now, my most beautiful phone, HTC U12 Plus versus the Oppo. What y'all think? Now, for beauty-wise, I got to go with the U12 Plus for that transparent back. But for flaws factor, I got to give it to the Oppo because of this facial unlock. That is so sick. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know exactly what y'all want me to cover when I do the full review. But y'all know how I do. I'm going to test the lag. We're going to test the battery. We'll test the camera. We'll test everything out. If there's anything specific, though, hit me up in the comments and I'll let y'all know. All right, one more thing. Now, just in case you wanted to see how the case looks on the phone, let's slap it on. Let's get a little wipe down. And there's your case. Now, no razivity on this one. Let's make sure the facial unlock still works. No problems. But it's gonna protect that glass back. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. phone is white shoes approved. <laughs>